Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited to bring you today's shave, which features the new product line from Ariana Evans, and that is Ultima. And this is their new premium line of shave soaps, as well as aftershave splashes. And the scent we'll be covering today is Chacha Matcha, and that is a tea scent, one of my favorite categories of scents. So we're gonna get into it. I'll tell you what the official scent notes are, what my impressions are, and all that good stuff. I do wanna disclose upfront that this set of Chacha Matcha was sent to me for free by Ariana and Evans. A little peek behind the curtain, uh, Peter from Ariana and Evans has been a long time supporter of this channel in the early days as uh, we were just growing. And oftentimes through the years has just sent me new products uh, with no expectation of covering it in a video. He just wants to get uh, my opinions on it, on scent, on performance. I also do want to say that you'll get my full and honest opinion. Uh, it's not always uh, sunshine and rainbows. I do give Peter critical feedback uh, where appropriate. So if it does bother you, feel free to click onto a different video, totally understand, and no harm, no foul. All right, so with that out of the way, we're gonna get into the shave. I'm working with about four or five days of beard growth. I'm getting this shave in before we have some travel coming up, so I gotta get cleaned up before we hit the airport, uh, see some family, uh, and you know, generally have a good family trip. So let's get on with it. So guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here, my name is John, AKA Ladder Hog, and on this channel, we talk about all things related to the world of wet shaving. If you're a wet shaving enthusiast or, or hobbyist, this is the right place for you. If you enjoyed this video or the other videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider clicking on that subscribe button and don't miss out on any of my new videos. So Chacha Matcha was developed by Peter along with his daughter Talia, who is a big fan of matcha green tea. The official scent notes include bergamot, green tea, almond milk, clary sage, bay, galbanum, and Virginia cedar. As for the Ultima line itself and what makes it more premium, uh, the soap comes with an additional box. So we're talking about packaging differences. The aftershave bottle is a lot chunkier and sports a squarish bottle that I think just looks really nice. Keep in mind that Peter from Ariana and Evans is a tinkerer, so I think some of the label work and some of the fine details uh, might change uh, as this is only a few months old. I also have to mention the price point, so both the soap and the splash are $24.95 USD, which actually isn't that much more expensive than some of the art other artisan shave soap offerings out there. All right, so we are lathered up and ready to go. Uh, you can see here the finished product. And we're going in with the razor, which is the Blackland Blackbird Titanium, my current favorite razor. And this is loaded up with a pole silver super iridium blade. So let's go in for that first pass. So you can see that cutting through four or five days worth of growth very easily. I mean, there's a reason this is my favorite razor. The lather itself was very easy to work up. Um, it was, uh, foamy is not the right word, but there's a certain lightness to it. Uh, a lot of, you know, modern artisan sh shave soaps wind up being very buttery and dense. Uh, this one, I think kind of, uh, it's a bit on the lighter side, but what it does afford the user is, again, uh, it's not, I think, extremely thirsty. Uh, I didn't have to go for heavy load for this shave soap. Uh, and I went for a synthetic knot today with my walled brush. Uh, it has the A1 knot, super dense synthetic knot. And it really didn't have too much problems as far as like constantly adding water. It came together very easily. I also wanna mention that as far as shave soap performance goes, just to be upfront guys, um, once it works at a pretty decent level, I'm not too picky. 
And I know that might not quite work as far as uh, you want to get the nitty gritty, uh, you know, how does this compare to that? How does it compare to this soap? But I can always tell you, you know, whether it's serviceable or very enjoyable, easy to use. Like easy to use is a, is a pretty good uh, factor in shave soap. I, I mention this because I think, you know, to, to give a proper pros and cons list for anything we use on the channel, um, one tricky thing to cover about the Ultima Shave Soap base, at the very least, because I know a lot of you are probably wondering, how is this base compared to K2E, which uh, I think is phenomenal. Um, that's their other mainline tallow soap. And by the way, Ultima Shave Soap is a, a tallow-based soap as well. Uh, the tricky thing about Ultima is that there have been, I think, three versions of the Ultima uh, Shave Soap base. Uh, with minor tweaks uh, as far as ratios go. So um, I've tried it in the first iteration with uh, the tobacco road scent, which I know I haven't covered on the channel yet, but that's that'll come down the pipeline. Uh, Chacha Matcha was the first revision. So let's, call, let's you know, for sake of argument, call it V2. And since the release of Chacha Matcha, I believe there's been one more tweak. All that's to say, if you were to buy Chacha Matcha on the shelf today, uh, that is in, you know, most likely in the uh, version three, and I'm us using version two here. So, uh, other than saying uh, in my shaves with Ultima so far, uh, it's not like leaps and bounds from the K2E base, which again I'm a huge fan of. Uh, I think it's a it's a good soap, it's a solid soap, uh, but I can't currently comment, you know, at, at the time of recording on what Ultima is going to be, or even you know, the newest version that's out there. So that's a huge caveat about the, uh, the actual shave soap base. So I wanna get that out there. We're, we'll shift and talk more about the scent uh, for the rest of the video. Now, as far as scent wise, this is really enjoyable. Uh, that, I think that bergamot and green tea is very upfront and those are two notes I really like as far as like bergamot and a citrus used a lot in perfuming. Such, such a great note. And this has, you know, like woodsy characteristics. It's got, it's got earthy, earth, that. It's got earthy characteristics. And that spice does come through. Uh, it's, you know, bay might be a red flag for some of you guys out there because of bay rum. Uh, I think it's the main context us wet shavers know it for. But I think bay here is really playing a complementary role. It's more in the background. It's contributing, but not overtaking the rest of the kind of brighter green scent. Also, for those uh, regular viewers, you might notice uh, the camera, the video might look a little different today. I am experimenting with something I picked up a while ago and just never got to regular using. And that's a little like lens attachment to my phone, which I make these shaving videos for. So hopefully uh, my face doesn't look as like up close and front and uh, maybe awkwardly close. Uh, let me know if that makes a difference for you. I, th I think it's probably a little bit better where um, you can take a bit of a step back, but your feedback is also uh, very helpful. So is it an improvement? Is it not? Do you like that up close? <laughs> you know, uh, right in your face. Look, let me know. Anyway, back to Chacha Matcha. Really nice things to say about this scent. Uh, one fragrance that you know, it's not one for one, but one that I think that really complements it really well is a is the green tea scent from uh, Banana Republic. I am blanking on the exact name of it right now, but that one is kind of like a, a cheapy but goody. And it's not a scent that, it's a softer scent. It doesn't last or it doesn't project really loudly, but really pleasant. Uh, tea scents I like because uh, they're more calming. So. Very enjoyable. Again, that bergamot is up front. Tea, tea is in there for sure. I would say I'm getting, a, uh, it's in the 80s as far as temperature wise, and I can get the tea a little more easily than I did in my initial shaves with this soap. So that's a plus. So those are the two main notes. As I mentioned, it has some woody, you know, woody notes, has some spice. 
even when I mentioned that it's you know that green uh, green tea tends to be kind of earthy. Some might even say musky, depending on the type of green tea. Yeah, so if you're a fellow fan of tea scents, I think uh, this one might be right up your alley. If you're looking for a community of wet shavers, I also want to invite you to come check out the Lather Talk Discord named after my wet shaving podcast, Lather Talk. Even if you've never tried the Discord app, I highly recommend it. We'd love to have you visit us. No obligation to stay. And of course, it's all free. So please be sure to check out the link in the description below. Pop your head in, say hi, and see if it's a place for you. All right, guys, so a great shave with Ariana Evans' Cha Cha Matcha. Uh, first things first, since I just applied the aftershave splash, this is one of those scenarios where there is some difference between uh, what we get out of the shave soap versus the splash. And I think it is pretty, um, this one is pretty obvious to tell. So by different, I don't mean, oh, they switched up the scents or whatever, but rather, that the notes that uh, really present themselves that are upfront are different. So I get almost, uh, it, it's, it's not listed, but it's like something that I perceive as smoky slash medicinal. And that is either a note, you know, one of the scent notes, or perhaps it might be one of the ingredients in the aftershave splash. But whereas the other one was bright and green, sorry, bright citrus and green, uh, that's not so much the case. I would say more that green tea aspect comes out because you know tea can be sometimes a little bitter, uh, and I tend to associate bitter and medicine together. You know, for probably for obvious reasons. Those of us who've ever taken uh, non children's medicine uh, would know that. But uh, yeah, so that kind of that scent note has been consistently present, and so the splash is different. Uh, it's not bad, but I would say as far as what I enjoy better, it's definitely that's the scent in the shave soap. Um, again, huge fan of, of bergamot, especially with other notes. Uh, I am still kind of, kind of smelling the aftershave, see how it changes. I, I, I think stuff, those kind of brighter top notes do get suppressed in the aftershave splash. So uh, that's definitely something definitely be aware of uh, and for those of you who might like kind of uh, woodier slash heavier scents like not super heavy but heavier than a summer scent uh, you might like that splash better but if you're kind of uh, a fresh boy like me you like citrus notes you like brighter notes uh, the soap is gonna be where it's at and then if you like you know mixing the two together well then that option is available to you as well. So definitely want to note when the scent kind of is, is quite starkly different from one another. Uh, and that's definitely the case here in Cha Cha Matcha. But as far as face feel goes, uh, in both the lather of the soap and even after I have applied the aftershave splash, it feels great. Um, there's definitely some good skin food going on in here uh, for those who might have drier skin and need to worry about that. So that's also a bonus. I also want to hear from you guys. If you are a fellow tea lover like myself, what are some of your favorite tea scents? Uh, are you guys excited about this Ultima line? I know there's been a few scent offerings already out there. Is it something you've picked up? Please let me know your impressions thus far. What scents do you like from the Ultima line? All in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day and tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.